Well, certainly. And guys, as you mentioned, the verdict was that Jody Herring will serve life in prison without parole. And again, this was certainly was an emotional uh, day in court. But of course, uh, the vic those closest to the victims are very happy with this outcome. We cannot forget this crime. We do not forgive it. Over two years after her murder, the family of Lara Sobel still shaken, broken by the loss. It does not just change you, it demolishes you. And although the pain will never fully go away for the Sobels or members of Herring's own family. I can no longer feel happiness. The emotions I feel every day make it hard to just survive. They believe that finally some justice has been served. I'm glad that, that it was recognized that that matters. The judge announcing Jody Herring's fate, the consequence of killing three of her relatives and after state DCF social worker Lara Sobel. The murder of Lara Sobel sentences life without parole. Taking the lives of all four women in August of 2015, something she says she regrets. I can't take back that, that day. I wish I could, but I can't. The judge says all four murders were clearly premeditated, and although Herring deals with anxiety and didn't want to lose custody of her daughter, killing is never the answer. Jody didn't intend to get away. She had made a decision, and, and she says it later. If I have to go to jail for the rest of my life, it was worth it. Herring will now spend the rest of her life behind bars, a sentence Sobel's family says she deserves. We as a family are very glad that, um, that she will never live a free day in her life. A state social worker, Lara Sobel, was gunned down outside her offices at the DCF. The judge said that nobody should ever feel threatened or afraid at their place of work while they're doing their job. Another reason why he said this verdict was appropriate. For now, live in Barry, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.